Accident at the south side of the building. We'll need an ambulance. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and I really appreciate everyone continuing to get involved with these videos by sharing them and getting involved in the comments and leaving likes on them because YouTube definitely does not like these videos. No matter what words I say or how I bend things or try to sanitize things, uh, YouTube does not um, want these videos made. Clearly, they're disincentivizing them by... Uh, making sure nobody gets ads on them, but it's still a very important topic to cover, and I'm going to do so because new information has come out about the film, and uh, it's disgusting. It's exactly what we all said it would be, and the type of people that this film was made for, I'm about to prove to you that it is of very high interest to them based on some analytic data. Before we get into that, I might as well throw in a sponsor from my own channel. So uh, check this out. It's me. I'm the sponsor. And all I want to do is remind you that I have a thriving Discord community I'd like you to join. I have a strong presence on Twitter Alternative Parlor. You can find me on Twitter and you can join my subreddit. I'd love to see you on all four platforms. Links are in the description of this video. Aye, 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 aye. You can also support the channel by clicking that join button down below, becoming a member here on YouTube, or signing up at my subscribe star, which is also linked in the description below. Both forms of support go miles to support people like my wonderful editor, Sean. or my wonderful thumbnail creator, Ben. You don't have to do these things or join these communities, but it would be neat if you did. Now let's get on with the video. Yeah, well, I figure I might as well seed my Discord and my subreddit and, and my socials because why not? So. News came out yesterday that uh, Netflix cancellations are up. They're not up 100%, but they're up eight times, 8x. Spikes to eight times the usual churn. Check out this article. Netflix prompts churn as domestic subscribers flee. Latest data comes after a controversial film sparked the cancel Netflix movement. Netflix investors may be tuning out after the controversial film has ignited a cancel Netflix campaign on social media. Shares fell Monday despite a broad market rally following a report that streaming service may be losing subscribers. Now, today, Netflix has certainly bounced back. Interesting. Uh, you know, I, I think Netflix is probably an $800, $900 stock. So uh, maybe this is just temporary. Anytime you see a big dip, you're going to see people move in. We'll see where it ends the day. It's certainly doing decent this morning. Still hasn't made up all its loss, but it made up a good chunk of it. Yip it Data, a global research firm, told Fox Business that Netflix churn or the amount of customers who choose not to renew the subscriptions began to substantially increase following the film's release. As of Saturday, the, uh, the firm found that Netflix's daily churn reached a multi-year high and was nearly eight times higher than levels observed before by the firm in August. So for all those who say these like boycotts and, and stuff like that don't work, it would appear that they do. And it would appear that lots of people are standing by uh, their word to um, cancel Netflix. 
Yep, it data believes the churn could continue to grow in the coming days as an online petition against the firm has gained over 614,000 signatures as of Monday evening. The streaming giant known for popular titles such as The Crown and House of Cards have seen the subscriber boom during the lockout, adding 10.1 million paid memberships in the second quarter, up from 2.7 million in the same period the year before. Netflix declined to comment on Yippet's data. In a recent interview with CNN, Netflix CEO Reed Hastings was not asked about the film the film's controversy, and last week the company issued an apology for the artwork associated with the film. I thought it was pretty convenient. The Netflix CEO appeared on CNN not once, but twice, and was never asked about probably the biggest story around the company, maybe ever. CNN didn't ask him about it. I wonder why. I wonder why CNN News didn't ask Netflix about the obvious biggest news on the planet. Now, they came out and said that, oh, well, the first interview we did was pre-recorded. Yeah, but the trailer was out over a week ago, and it's been an issue ever since then. So just another, you know, in-depth, honest, hard-hitting reporting by CNN. Of course, they said, we are deeply sorry for the inappropriate artwork that we used. Here's the thing. It wasn't just the artwork. If you watch the film... Whoever's running that camera, whoever's doing the editing, uh, was taking an awful lot of time to zoom in and 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 you know on the on the on the parts of the of the girls and carry and let the camera gaze. Did you really need all the hyper zooms in on the body parts? I mean, it's absurd. Um, of course, that was done on purpose. And I think that one, remember that one creep that uh, reviewed the film and said, you're supposed to hold two thoughts in your mind at the same time. Like, hey, look at the blonde one and, and, and these girls are cute or whatever. He's probably right. Now, the director has come out to say, you know, to push back against it. But people have had enough. And, you know, ultimately, uh, things... Even uh, are 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 grosser than you could ever imagine. Um, I I don't really know how else to describe this to you other than just show you. Um, but uh, remember to leave a like on this video and leave a comment on this video and consider sharing it because this is about to prove everything we've been saying. There's a red subscribe button down to the right of the video. Please consider clicking that right now. So remember when everyone said, hey, uh, no, nah, there's nothing weird about this film. It's not, it's not, it's not bait for the the creeps, the the absolute dregs of society. Well, you know what I thought was interesting? For the last 24 hours, Two of the top 10 trending search terms on an, uh, a, a website for uh, videos that are for um, pleasing yourself. Let's put it that way. Let's just take a look. I had to, I had to blur some out because they're not family friendly. But uh, here you go. You see what website I'm on here? This is a site that hosts. It's one of the hubs. We'll call it that. What's the fourth highest trending Search on this website, Cuties Netflix. And look at the seventh, sixth or seventh highest. This film is trending on a site that is for spicy videos. Who's searching for that on a site dedicated to spicy videos? I highly doubt Avengers Endgame was trending on this site during the same period. Think about that. People are going to a website dedicated towards these type of videos and searching for your documentary movie. What do you think that means? Do you think that maybe... Do you think, do you think maybe we were right about it? Of course, the director coming out saying why I made this film currently has 4.4 thousand upvotes, 
probably should investigate who they are. 41,000 downvotes. And the comments are absolute gold. Now, again, I don't think that Netflix should remove it. They paid for it. They aired it. And uh, they're willing to reap the whirlwind afterwards. And that's okay. All I got to say is, you know, maybe consider taking a few months off next Netflix. You know, take a month, take two months, take three months. See how life is. If you decide that, hey, I can't live without my Netflix, no hard feelings. Seriously. This is coming from a guy that stood tall for six months and didn't play World of Warcraft and then finally cracked and went back and played. So I understand it happens. But just consider canceling Netflix as now we know exactly who's interested in this film. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.